And if you listen to the beat and hear what's in your soul, you'll never let anyone steal. The new musical Memphis opened on Broadway in the fall of 2009. But for stars Chad Kimball and Montego Glover, the journey began much earlier. Recently, TDF Stages spoke to the Tony Award nominees about all their years in Memphis. I play Huey Calhoun, a, uh, a reckless um, young man in, in Memphis, Tennessee, here I was born and here is where I'll die. who is um, in love with the rhythm and blues and uh, subsequently falls in love with this young lady here. I play Felicia Farrell. She is a young African-American girl, Memphis, 1950s. She wants to be a singer, and she sings in her brother's club on Beale Street. And uh, is interrupted one evening by a young man stumbling into her brother's club following the sound of the music. Stumble. And, <laughs> and uh, she falls in love with him and he falls in love with her. About seven years ago now, eight, because we've been on Broadway. Eight years ago. Eight. Um, about seven years ago, um, I got a call from um, my agent saying there is going to be a reading of this new musical it's called Memphis. Um, it's going to have its first developmental production at uh, the North Shore Music Theater. They cast Montego and they cast me. She actually auditioned with me and we kissed that first time and the rest is history. Every single performance I find out a new thing, large or small, that I simply d didn't know before. You, you thought you knew all there was to know about it like a year ago or a year before that and then bam you're hit with like this kind of epiphany. There was a moment the other day where Chad makes his first entrance and I turned around and for I mean I've done it a million times but I looked up and I thought who is this stranger in my brother's bar? Like he just has no business being here. And I thought, he should turn around and run out because there's a sea of African Americans down here looking at him and not so pleasantly. He should leave, but he doesn't. And I thought, I'm intrigued. For some reason, in that second, I saw him again for the 475th time for the first time. That's where the excitement is because you just sometimes, you never know, like, what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm, right. Even though you know all the lines and all the music and all the steps, you never know what little piece of magic you're gonna find, what new piece of magic.